Have you ever released a video to YouTube only to realize that you've left in a part that you meant to edit out? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can edit your videos even after they've been released on YouTube. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where I share tips and tricks all about audio and video. And in this one, I'm gonna show you a very cool thing and that is that if you release a video and you have forgotten to edit out a part, you can go back and remove it and then edit it and re-release it. But did you know that you can actually edit that video right here in the YouTube editor? I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. Step number one is to go to your YouTube studio. Now it will be here under your icon and it will be YouTube studio. I'm already there. You then need to click on the videos tab over here on the left and it will bring up all your videos. Now what you need to do is click the details of the video you want to edit. I want to edit this one and it's going to bring up this screen here, which is all of the information that you would have populated when you released the video. Now here's the cool thing. The third option down here on the left is editor. So we're going to click on edit editor and that is going to take us into the YouTube video editor. What we can now do is locate the section of the video that we need to remove by clicking through and scrolling through the video like this. We can just hit the play button at any time. Now every Bluetooth keyboard will be slightly different and it will start playing back the video. So all you need to do is locate by navigating around here and find the section of the video that you want to actually remove. Okay, I've found the section that I need to change here and I need to actually zoom in now to make sure I get right at the very start frame of the bit I want to remove. So here on the right, we can actually zoom in by scrolling over here to the right and zoom right in like that. And then I can grab this playhead and if I move it to the left, what I need to do is find the point where it actually cuts between the two bits of footage. So there is where I end up and that's where I've hit the button there. And then here is where I've started talking again. So we just need to find the spot where, there it is, it's from there to there. So if we play back through this part here, we'll just make sure it's the right spot and tap on Bluetooth. Now every Bluetooth, okay, it's right there. So where I say now every Bluetooth, what I've actually done is I've left in one version of me saying this whole passage and then I've actually included it again. And this is something common when you're editing. I do it all the time. I usually catch it, this time I didn't. So what do I need to do now? I need to click on the trim button here in the top left corner and I need to click the split button. So this will split right at that point. And what I now need to do is locate the last frame that I wanna actually remove because what we can do is we can click and drag on the handle here and see the little X that appears? This is the section that is now going to be removed. So what I need to do is find the spot that I actually want to cut back in and then split it out to that spot. So I've scrolled around and once again I've found the spot. We're going to zoom back in using that same method here and again we're going to carefully find the frame where I make the mistake. So where I start the next passage. Let's hit play. Connect directly to the K480. Now every there it is. So now I say now every Bluetooth keyboard is the same is different. There you can see there's the frame. So we need to go and very carefully go to that frame there. That's the one we need to go to. So we're gonna zoom back out a little bit just so we can get our handle. And we're gonna bring this split handle over gently and place it right there in the right spot. We're gonna to need to then zoom back in again and then very carefully position it. Make sure we get it right down to the frame and release. What we can now do is hit the preview button down the bottom here and actually see if our change has worked. If it hasn't, we can re-edit it. Otherwise, we can save these in. So let's hit the preview button now. And now if we zoom back out in the top right corner here, let's play this back with this section removed and see if everything looks all right. Set up first of all is to tap on our settings here on the iPad or iPhone and tap on Bluetooth. Now every Bluetooth keyboard will be slightly different. With this one, we select which number device. That looks good. So instead of it having that whole section in between where I talk about trying to connect the Bluetooth keyboard and then talk about it again, I've removed the first version. So I've removed there between two minutes and 29 and between two minutes and 40, two minutes and 50. So about 21 seconds of video and audio is going to be removed. Now, all that's left to do is to click on the save button here in the top right corner once I'm happy with the save. And then you're going to say, yes, it, we are happy to save it. Now, it says here, 
that viewers will see the most current version of the video until the changes are made. You won't be able to make other changes while it's actually doing this. And it might take a few hours. In my experience, it takes anywhere from about 30 minutes up to about three hours. So we're gonna click save. Everything's gonna go grayed out like that. Video is being processed. Please check back later, which I will do and which you can do by clicking down the bottom and actually checking out this video. There are two more videos about editing videos for YouTube down the bottom there. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon, and I'll see you next time.